Hi, my name's Kavita Chandra, and I'm a graduate student at Northwestern University, and I study cancer research. I have a beautiful lawn outside of my house, but I have nasty weeds all throughout it. I have two options as a gardener. Either I can physically take out the weeds along with the grass around it, or use a pesticide to cover the whole lawn that specifically targets the weeds and kills them while leaving the grass intact. Seems like a no-brainer. Now I want to take these same concepts and use them for cancer therapeutics. Current methods of treatment for cancer include chemotherapy, which is an irradiation treatment that targets cancer tumors, but also kills all of the healthy cells surrounding it. Unfortunately, what this does is lowers our body's immune system, as well as increases the chance that we have other diseases and infections. A more ideal situation would be that we target the cancer cells and leave the healthy cells all right. These cancer cells actually have a protein that are overabundant on them that are not overabundant on healthy cells. So we can use a DNA drug to target these proteins. Unfortunately, these DNA drugs disintegrate within the bloodstream and they cannot reach their target, which are the cancer cells. So in my lab, what we're studying to do is protect and stabilize these drugs so that they can reach the target. What we use are gold nanostars. They are on the order of 50 nanometers. So if you took 2,000 of them, lined them up side by side, they would only be the width of a human hair. That's incredibly small. But luckily for us, most biological processes happen on the micro or nanometer scale. So these gold nanostars can pass through the bloodstream and go into the cells with no problem. Luckily, these gold nanostars are also not toxic to the body, and we can make them in liter amounts very fast. So it's cheap, fast, and can load a lot of drugs. So my hope is that in the future, chemotherapy will be eliminated and that we can actually just target cancer cells and leave our immune systems intact. So when you go to the doctor's office and you get diagnosed with cancer, it won't be a death sentence, but rather just a pesky weed to get rid of.